Although he shot down only nine enemy planes, Hans Ulrich Rudel was definitely one of the greatest German combat pilots. However, he is not as widely known as Erich Hartmann or Adolf Garland, most likely because he was not a fighter pilot but a Stuka dive bomber pilot. German Field Marshal Ferdinand Schoner famously claimed that Udall alone is worth an entire division. Udall's statistics are breathtaking and his military career was unique. He spent approximately 6,000 hours in the air. One day, he flew astonishing number of 17 sorties. During the years of 1941 to 1945, he flew an incredible number of combat missions, reaching 2,530. He destroyed 519 tanks, a battleship, a cruiser, and countless numbers of enemy equipment. No single German soldier caused more damage to the enemy than Rudel. He was born on July 2nd of 1916 in Silesia. He was the son of a pastor, but as he was not doing well at school, he received limited education. He joined Luftwaffe after his graduation in 1936 and a year and a half later in the summer of 1938, he was assigned to a dive bomber squadron based in Graz, Austria, to his great satisfaction. Although he applied for more dive bombing technique training, he was turned down and instead was sent for the reconnaissance observers course. Rudel took part in the Polish campaign flying long-range missions, but he still dreamt of flying Junkers 87 Stuka dive bombers. He kept submitting applications until he was finally given the green light in May 1940. He did not take part in the French campaign as he was considered not a very good pilot. He was then moved to 1st Squadron of Dive Bomber Group 2, 1st Staffel of Stugach Geschwader 2 where he was preparing for the airborne invasion of Crete in May 1941. At the last moment, he was transferred back to Germany. However, the situation started to change and consequently, he was transferred to the Eastern Front and finally flew his first dive bombing mission on 23rd of June, 1941. On the 23rd of September, 1941, both wings of Rudolf's Group 2 commenced an attack on part of the Soviet Baltic Fleet, anchored in Kronstadt Harbor. The main target for the Stuka bombers became two Gungut-class dreadnoughts, Octia Bruskaya Revolitsia and Murat. Rudol commenced attack on Murat. He dived and dropped a 1,000-kilogram bomb from approximately 300 meters height, despite the fact that these bombs were meant to be dropped from at least 1,000 meters, as otherwise the diving plane would be in danger. Rudol did not care about it, as all what he wanted was to hit Murat. He briefly lost consciousness, and as he came back around, he heard an excited voice of his gunner claiming that they hit the Soviet battleship. While flying approximately three meters above the sea level, Udall turned his Junker 87 to see a column of smoke. His bomb hit the ship's ammunition storage and literally broke the dreadnought in half. That was the biggest object ever destroyed by the dive bomber. The golden era had begun for Udall. He was flying on the Eastern Front, often flying a few sorties per day in extreme weather. The temperature was dropping to minus 40 degrees below zero. The engines were not starting, hydraulics were not working properly, and everything was freezing. Despite all that, in December 1941, Rudel flew his 500th sortie. Shortly afterwards, he was posted to Graz, Austria, where he got married. He returned to the Eastern Front in the summer of 1942. He also fought during the Battle of Stalingrad. On November 25th, he flew 17 missions during one day, which no one had ever done before. By February 1943, he had flown a thousand sorties, way more than any other pilot, Axis or Allied, and became Germany's national hero. In the meantime, it had been realized that the current bomb types were inadequate against enemy tanks. Rudel was posted to a special unit formed to test a new tank-busting version of Junker 87, D3. 
The prototype plans were initially used against Soviet landing crafts. During just a three-week period, Rudel destroyed around 70 of these boats in the Black Sea. Later on, more younger 87D3s were converted to the G1 Tank Buster version and nicknamed Panzernacker, Tank Buster, or Cannonvogel, Cannonbird. These planes started to arrive in the Eastern Front during the autumn of 1943. In the summer of 1943, he fought during the Battle of Kursk, where he started dive-bombing tanks and became an absolute ace. He discovered that, because of the design of the T-34s, it was not possible to install heavy plating in the back of the tanks. Hence, the most effective ways of knocking out Soviet tanks was to hit them in the back or the side. During the first three months, he destroyed 100 enemy vehicles. By October 1943, he was awarded swords to his Knight's Cross with oak leaves. Shortly afterwards, in March 1944, he flew his 1,500th mission and got promoted to the rank of Major. During one mission in late March, his squadron was attacked by Soviet fighters and one of the Stuka bombers was shot down over enemy territory. The crew survived the crash, landing, and so Rudel landed his plane, wanting to rescue his colleagues. He could not take off because of the soft ground, so they had to escape on foot. They were chased by Soviets towards the Dniester River. Having no choice, they decided to swim in the ice-cold river. Udel was the only one who managed to survive and come back to his unit. For his bravery, he was awarded the highest German decoration, diamonds to his knight's cross with oak leaves and swords. Rudel was severely injured during a Soviet armored offensive in Brandenburg in February 1945. That day, he flew four sorties and managed to destroy 13 tanks. His Junker 87 was hit by an AA gun and caught fire. Rudel was injured, but he managed to land his plane before he lost consciousness. Luckily for him, his gunner, Dr. Ernst Gardemann, was a medic. He dragged Rudel away from the burning plane and amputated his leg, saving Rudel's life. It is worth mentioning that after the war, Dr. Gardemann became a famous cardiologist and even became the chief of medics during the Munich Olympics in 1972. Rudel was taken to hospital, but he was not willing to stay there long. He ran away taking his prosthesis with him and turning up at the airbase. The doctors banned him from flying, but that did not stop him. Although he destroyed 13 tanks in April 1945, these were not recorded as his, but rather as those of the squadron. When Rudel learned about the capitulation, he ordered his unit to depart on 8th of May 1945 from the Czech territory and to fly to the Bavarian town of Kitzingen, escaping the Soviet fighters chasing them. He ordered a hard landing, so the planes would be damaged and consequently not fall into enemy's hands. He then surrendered to Americans. When he was released from captivity, he briefly returned to Germany before moving to Buenos Aires, Argentina, as did many other escaped Nazis. He became friends with South American dictators. Rudel became acquainted with notorious Nazi concentration camp doctor and war criminal Josef Mengele. Rudel was a known Nazi and considered persona non grata by the German Ministry of Defense, mainly due to his admiration of Adolf Hitler. Hans Ulrich Rudel passed away in 1982 in Bavaria, Germany. <laughs>